Hello everybody, I want to share my Paladin build with you, which I'm playing solo. Very good for solo leveling and very good sustain, bit slow for killing mobs. But very good solo farming. Paladin is far fire protection holy. Good sustain. Why everything is from these archetypes, I will explain. So. Stats I use 80 vitality, 50 dex and wisdom and everything into might. Into equipment I use claws and uh, a bit healing power is uh, with great sport. This is very good uh, for cheap gear because healing power, you know, and wisdom are cheap. Yeah, everything in an attack power. What I can do also rune, very important. So how this build build works. So main stuff is uh, cleansing. What we provide is purify, which cleans to random harmful effects, and from card from devotion, which is Kaiman Seer, they also cleanse one harmful effect and with 60% or whatever percent chance for additional one. Yes, so in Warfare what we have uh, Brutal Strike is our, our basic attack skill. Uh, shield Break. Uh, shield Break with uh, Rod Club of course, because reduce the uh, armor and increase damage. Mm, fisting strike with polar beer for leech uh, blades blade storm and earthquake for AoE damage if you have troubles with this uh, bull rush with card of stun to interrupt uh, fear sleep uh, also with stun is this uh, arena arena runes blood runes and berserk for eater generation also blood pass and blood seeker for leech in protection we have uh, shield throw for uh, interrupt range interrupt uh, with card of minotaur uh, which give us barrier uh, also smiting smash of course barrier to reduce damage from enemies Artistral Champion. I don't know why. Okay, Blessing Curse for OE damage because we tanky and f f damage increases by weapon defense and spell defense. Uh, this card of Morningstar Judge because while Blasters is active, we received more healing. Also, we use Revenge for stun, uh, with stun card, yes, interrupt, Revenge very good skills. Banner of protection for uh, healing in very bad situations, unbreakable, with card of healing, because yeah, this is our uh, like defensive stat, so we have Ken's blood. Uh, Guardian and uh, Undying Quill. This is very good for um, sustain. In Holy we use uh, Flash Heal. Flash Heal mainly like out of combat Aether generation. Downslide, very good heal, very big heal. Here's Chainer uh, with card of critical chance. If we below 50% health, uh, very good heal. Fortunately, he's chained, but uh, with Living Saint uh, and card of Phoenix, this stuff is not chained. Chain. Living Saint, uh, very good also protection spell. And because this card provides us uh, downslide. And also flash heal, no 
this uh, no chaining, this very, uh, I think it's one of the best stains combos. Also we hear Devotion. Devotion is main a very good spell, like 18 seconds cooldown and the healers and provide 50 ether. 50 ether is massive. Uh, with Skyman Seer card, yes, for cleansing. And Purify, of course. Purify 2 seconds, cooldown gives 20 ether, cleanse uh, damage. Skyman Illusionist, if we cleanse something, yes, we heal yourself. No passives from heal. Yes, low level maybe, future I will take this one for double crit change for, for healing. Yes, this is my skill tree, how it works. Uh, for example, yes, if we out of combat and we have no either, we can use flash heal, like they generate healers, yes. If we out of combat and have like half percent of health, we can use downlight for healing and then we use devotion and we in the same place with aether and also they will heal us like um, almost 500 plus 300 so 800 HP it's very cool now some main rotations like shield break smiting smash then I do brutal strike and pulse rush rush pulse rush generates 30 eater and 20 eater we have 50 percent uh, 50 eater then we use blisters devotion we have uh, again 50 eater and finishes revenge and brutal strikes uh, I think if you not farm everything super super ten can this will be enough like for one to kill. Uh, yes, so in bad situation if you have more mobs you can use uh living saint for protection is my first priority. Uh with downslide and devotion then also you can use unbreakable which heals you it's damage received also when you unbreakable and if you use earthquake or blades storm with uh, which they they like cost 800 of health yes after unbreakable you will have this 400 percent uh, i mean 400 uh, health back it's kind of interesting how it works. Yes, purify if we have a lot of dots. It's very good to fight uh, something like warlocks or demons, which provide a lot of dots. Yes, so a lot of CC, a mm, lot of uh, health possibility, a lot of protection and self sustain. So it's very nice. For weapons, of course, uh, nobody like great sword, but I like this. I think uh, it's buffing three spells. Next spells for damage is very good from my point of view. But also, this will be uh, this will work very good with uh, great eggs if you want more damage. And uh, but if you struggling with uh, like really really hard damage you can also try uh, hammer to hand it because they you will deal less damage but he will heal much more yes so after this i will just show how i play and farm scorns
so this corner it's like I don't want to waste a lot of my spells of this but tasklings like they provide a lot of uh, dots yes and we can just cleanse them so you use our small combo and everything is dead yes here we out of outer ether we will just we have uh, like a lot of wisdom they provide mana regen so we almost never be out of mana this situation yes so i with flash kill generate 100 ether again we will go kill this lurking shadow Here is how our combo works. No, see no dots, no harmful effects. Almost. I wish they cleanse more, but we have what we have. This warlocks try to interrupt as much as you possible can. See, they most of mages deal no damage if they don't dot you, which is kind of interesting. I will just show you, I will receive damage, how heal is good with living strike. For example, I will take 3 mobs on me. See, I start struggling and I will just start healing. Heal is huge. Mobs is not really a problem for me. A lot of mobs you can easily survive. 